Well, blessed Friday to you as we come to your daily encouragement. And uh, we're continuing on page 93, uh, Ministry in Life Together by Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Strong and weak, wise and foolish, gifted and ungifted, pious and impious, the diverse individuals in the community are no longer incentives for talking and judging and condemning, thus excuses for self-destruction. They are rather cause for rejoicing in one another, serving one another. Each member of the community is given his particular place, but this is no longer the place in which he can be most successful and assert himself, but the place where he can best perform his service. Now, maybe these have been difficult concepts for you to go through, but let us break down to what's going on. Each one of us has been created in the image of God, and each one of us has been gifted with a certain gift for the ministry or what we call the body of Christ, the community upon which we have been baptized into. We have sometimes, as we've been talking about, times together and times alone. We have been part of this community. And because we are part of this community, we should have moments where we exercise our abilities with freedom. But that does not mean that we are going to be completely free from criticism or completely free from critique. That is because of two reasons. One, we have to view ourselves not as showing off, but literally, as he says in here, a successful place for service. We need to model ourselves on the servanthood of Jesus Christ, who freely became a slave to the community. The other thing we're called to do is we're called to make sure that sin does not enter into that discussion. Now, sometimes that can be impossible because we are in bondage to sin or captive to sin, and we cannot free ourselves. But we have had many aspects of our creativity, our life together, our gifts that have been set free. And so we need to learn how to exercise those gifts with accountability. And so it is in that tension that we are to view other people not as objects of gossip, objects of condemnation. For as Luther and Bonhoeffer both teach, and Jesus teaches, we are all subject to sin and we cannot free ourselves. But we are also created to do wonderful things because of God's grace working within us. And so we had to remember that the ultimate object of critique or judgment is not to condemn or lord over a person, it is to make sure that there is mutual love and mutual creativity and the furtherance of ministry between people. And that's what uh, our denomination calls interdependent. We are not independent per se. Freedom invites us to be interdependent. It doesn't mean that because you critique me or because you didn't affirm everything I was saying, therefore I'm going to leave. No, interdependence means that I'm bound to you even in spite of those times where we rub the wrong way. But I am also free among you not to hold everything you tell me as the gospel truth. And that's where sometimes we had to grow to love one another and appreciate each other's gifts. And that is a difficult balance to strike. And sometimes it comes up to a person like myself, a pastor or a counselor or some sort of upper leadership to negotiate some of those differences. Good grief, the whole uh, letters of Paul, specifically like First and Second Corinthians, or even Galatians are examples of both that tension of freedom and accountability. All of it has existed from the beginning of time ever since there are two or three individuals. Most successful marriages, in fact, not all of them, have to have some sort of negotiation so that the other partner can flourish and the other partner does not stray too far away from the important relationship of the family that is being established. And the same is true of the church. And so it is in these passages that we remember that the reason for our accountability, the reason for sometimes we rub up against people the wrong way, 
is so that they and we can flourish as the body of Christ. We trust that these have been encouraging to you. God bless you today, and we'll see you next week. Take care.